going on everybody it's your boy i'm here to give you guys the review for real housewives of potomac before i get started yes if y'all haven't already heard i am officially a sensi man i do sell sensi and i am a sensi consultant so if you would like to get you guys some smell goods and all that other wonderful stuff i do have a party go and click the link below and go ahead and support your boy now with this being the households of potomac i'd have made myself a nice strong glass of long island so this is what we're doing for every time they talk about etiquette or I hear something in reference to etiquette. I'm going to take a sip. We're going to see how much of this I finish and how drunk my ass going to be. So let's go ahead and get into this review now, shall we? <clears throat> okay, y'all. So I had to, y'all know, I sit here and like edit and come back and all this other stuff. So Real Housewives of Olden right now of Atlanta. This is Potomac. I'm already on drink number two. I I'm probably going to be on number four before I'm done with this damn review. But anyway, it picks up where it left off between uh, Karen and Giselle. So now you have uh, Sh uh, Sharice and Giselle. They're pretty much hashing their shit out, but they're not getting any fucking wear. And they're not even agreeing to disagree. So, and um, <clears throat> of course, Karen did not leave, but she just kind of walked away. And after uh, Giselle and... Cherise got done with their argument. <clears throat> uh, Karen, uh, not Giselle whole thing is, you know what? I'll just leave. And so she's getting ready to leave. She tells her uh, her um, stylist who was still there, uh, you know, Bridge is gonna go. And at some point, because I was editing, I come back and all of a sudden uh, he is somewhat getting into it with Karen. And you know, one thing I will say is. <clears throat> It's never really a good thing for men to argue with women. I mean, I do it if I need to slash have to, but even in a situation like that, that's one of those things where he should just let the women handle that. So I will say, I, I believe he, was, he wasn't he was right for that. So Katie, <clears throat> like I said, she, uh, she's biracial and Jewish. She wants to prove her Jewishness, which right there that says someone, you have to prove it. And she's having a naming ceremony for her daughters. So she did not. So like I said, that should have been done a while back. Now her mom is black, converted to Judaism, uh, married her father. Her father was Orthodox, and she said, but it was innate that for her to marry him, she had to undergo an Orthodox uh, conversion. So <clears throat> you know, there is that. And um, the crazy thing is, none of that Jewishness either is not there with Katie. Like I said, her she doesn't know Hebrew. Uh, she, you know, ho holds dear to it, but doesn't keep the Sabbath, um, only goes, you know, to, you know, to the synagogue during the high holy day. So I'm just leave that way it's set. And she is desperate to have her boyfriend included in the name of ceremony. And the rabbi is side on the fuck out of her. <clears throat> uh, Karen and Aunt Dot, that caused me to do a lot of drinking. Uh, Ashley is the new girl. Uh, she's 26. Her husband is 50. She is a ditz. And I'm going to tell you, that girl, she she going to gonna be the turn-up queen of the season. But I will say, I, I do sense a little bit of hate coming off Giselle. Because I, I guess it's that, you know, that new cute. So, but we'll see what happens. Giselle is uh, wanting to invite Sharice and Karen out to uh, lunch. To kind of bury the hatchet, what I didn't like is that she was involving her doors and kind of letting them know the um, what was going on, the inner workings of stuff, actually getting them involved. It's, you know, it's like the, her being their friend, which is fine, but it's one of those things which is like her bringing her kids into grown-up things is going to cause them, one, to grow up faster, and two, because you're giving them a platform to talk about shit that they don't need to be talking about when they start talking back she will be wondering why because you've already opened up the dialogue for this so <clears throat> then uh we meet uh michael who is our uh, ashley's husband uh he's a uh, real estate uh he does something in real estate i forget exactly what it is not really caring and uh they're working on opening a uh, restaurant combining I believe it was Australian cuisine with uh, American cuisine. And, you know, she even mentions the uh, other girls and how uh, she felt uh, kind of shaded by uh, Giselle. So, yeah. 
Okay, so we're at the naming ceremony. Um, <clears throat> it was nice. It was cute. Giselle was late. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. I, I have my uh, mixed feelings about the whole CP time because <clears throat> quietness is kept. I mean, there is such a thing as a <laughs> JP Tyler. <laughs> Me and Jay's are texting right now, and <clears throat> <clears throat> he well, they talk about uh, you know the whole identity thing and how um, Katie identifies herself, and her whole thing is she is biracial. My whole thing is I think partially she's delusional, <clears throat> but if that's how she wants to identify herself, it's perfectly fine. It's just one of those where it doesn't matter what you see yourself as, but. It truly does matter how the rest of the world sees you. I mean, truly, what you feel is what you feel, but you also need to be aware of how the rest of the world views you. <clears throat> but even Giselle and our Robin is like, hey, we black, <laughs> you know, point blank, period. And um, <clears throat> I will say it was, it was a little fucked up for Giselle to be like, what will make a black person just up and you know, want to be Jewish today, and then you go there, you know, and the whole, <clears throat> you know, who you, why you hit this ain't no fish fry. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to let her live because I know James is going to sit here and bear her, but what I will say is it's no different than black than black people converting over to Judaism. Judaism was never, I'm sorry, not Judaism, Christianity. Christianity was never the black man's religion, the black people's religion, okay? <clears throat> all you got to do is go back. Like I said, that's all, Betty. All I'm gonna say is, y'all do y'all research and y'all tell me when Christianity became a thing for black people. So my thing is, if her mother, Katie's mother, found a different way, as I found my own, it is what it is, and what works for me works for me. Now, what I will say is, Katie <clears throat> is using Judaism more or less as okay. It's just like one of those badges of honor, but I don't live it. But at the same exact time, you know. <clears throat> I feel bad for Giselle because I'm pretty sure she gonna get read the fuck for Phil. It's just not gonna be by me because I'm I'm just not gonna sit here and give her uh, that much time, and I'm tr I'm trying to be here for. Her, so I'm, I'm gonna let her live today. I'm gonna let her live, and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck commercial is. Is this like a oh Grease Live? Huh? I might watch it. <clears throat> okay, so this. <sighs> I don't know if I can finish Potomac, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. One, I'm I'm drunk as shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm tired of shit too now. Okay. I'm, I'm tired of all this etiquette and the do's and the don'ts and shit. And, you know. <clears throat> I'm all about trying to resolve shit. And I'm not saying that Giselle needs to fucking apologize. But I personally would have just been like because you know she sort of kind of did it you know what was your problem what was your problem <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with saying you know what well i apologize if things went this way yada 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 blah blah blah, blah. but at the same exact time none of the women were ready and willing to take responsibility for anything and you know i didn't like how I mean, for what is worth, I mean, they ganged up on um, <clears throat> Giselle, Karen, and uh, Cherie's like, this shit is fucking stupid. It's crazy. And like I said, I, I, I can't do this. Trust me when I say if y'all if y'all want somebody to read the fuck down, I'm pretty sure James got y'all. If y'all didn't know, I'm running off a little bit of sleep from doing the blab and shit and all this other stuff. So I'm giving y'all the best that I can, okay? Um, but at the same as that time, they're not really giving me shit tonight. So, I mean, it's pretty, when it come back on, it'll pretty much be the end. I don't know what all is going to be left, but if it's nothing, then I'll come back with the sign off, but we'll see. Did she really just say, I can put you back where you belong? Mm mm. I'm not doing this shit tonight. I'm I'm really not. I, I'm sorry. I can't deal with pompous motherfuckers and and on the real. I mean, I can respect the fact that they not getting like Opa. Oh, <clears throat> I've been drinking overly fucking ratchet. But this is one of them moments where I was really waiting for Giselle to sit here and set that ass straight. 
especially Karen, especially Karen. And then for Karen to have so much class, when you walk away, you say, kiss my ass, bitch, fuck you. But I will agree when she said you shouldn't have brought your kids into this. I wholeheartedly agree with that because I've already said that. So that's all I got. Fuck this show. I'm going to try to give it a couple more. But like, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to finish this shit. But I mean, I don't know. Hey, I... <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to be drunk just to get through these damn reviews. Like, that's how the fuck this is looking. But that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys uh, right back after this for Workout New York. And, um... Uh, and I will say Mama Love has, uh, you know, been watching the video. So, hey, Mama Love. Actually, she's probably not watching this. Whatever. Peace.